Hi friends, you are watching EV Learning Tools, YouTube channel. If you are not yet subscribed our channel, please subscribe now. In this video you will learn about virologist, how to become virologist, higher education, job opportunities, type of job etc. Virologists study viruses that affect humans, animals, insects, bacteria, fungi, and plants in community, clinical, agricultural, and natural environments. Virologists typically work in research or teaching, and many split their time between these two activities. Virologists may also work as science writers or pursue additional training to work in pharmaceutical business or law. Researchers may be employed by universities, government agencies, or health organizations. Some virologists work in industry research and develop new medications. Medical doctors focusing on virology may carry out clinical research or work with patients afflicted with viruses. Virology researchers work under a broad range of issues including viral pathology, viral oncology, emerging viruses, viral therapy, viral replication, virus cell interactions, and plant virology. Because virologists work with infectious microorganisms, there is a small risk of illness, but preventative measures minimize that risk. Virologists work in office and laboratory settings, though a few may take samples in the field. Virologists, like other microbiologists, work on a full-time basis and usually collaborate with other scientists. Step 1. Earn a Bachelor's Degree Virology is not typically offered as a bachelor's degree major. Because a strong science background is essential, most aspiring virologists major in biology, chemistry, or a related science as undergraduates. Coursework that includes organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, biology, cell biology, biochemistry, microbiology, physics, mathematics, English, humanities, and social science can prepare students for graduate degree programs in virology. Step 2, MSc in Virology. Being a master's degree course, it is having two years duration. In some institutes, it is divided into four equal parts known as a semester. Each semester has six months span. Course highlights. The initial part of the course includes the study of basic microbiology, immunology, virology, applied viral genetics, etc. It also includes topics like biostatistics, epidemiology, entomology and recent advances in molecular virology. Candidates learn about diagnostic virology, innate immunity, immunoglobulin, and other immunology-related topics in detail. The latter part of the course includes a short-term training which is also known as a dissertation. During this, candidates are supposed to conduct a training project in any of the related firm, hospital, diagnostics lab, research lab, etc., and write the thesis on the basis of their work. How is MSc Virology course beneficial? It helps to introduce, update and strengthen basic concepts in scientific disciplines, immunology, biotechnology, vaccinology, biology of infection and diagnostic virology, necessary to diagnose, monitor and prevent communicable viral diseases of major public health importance. The master degree course provides analytical thinking such as analyzing information and using logic to address work-related issues and problems. They can take up science writing as career, who writes articles for common people and professional microbiologists. They can also have teaching jobs in colleges and universities both on private and permanent basis after passing UGC net. MSc Virology, Eligibility Candidates willing to apply for the course should have the following minimum eligibility criterion. Candidates should have a bachelor's degree in science or related specializations like microbiology, life science, biotechnology, biochemistry, chemistry, or any other related subject from a recognized institute with at least 50% marks. MSc Virology, Admission Process. The admission procedure varies from one institute to another. The candidates need to follow the following steps in order to get admitted to MSc Virology course. 1. The candidates need to apply by submitting a filled application form. 2. Some institutes also offer direct admissions on the basis of marks scored in the last qualifying examination. 3. Some also prepare a list on the basis of merit, 
some highly reputed institutes conduct entrance tests like Money Pal Entrance Test, NIV College Entrance Test, to select the candidates on the basis of their performance in the entrance exams. MSc Virology Employment Areas, Pharma Companies, Colleges and Universities, Research Centers, Human Immunology Laboratory, Government Hospitals, Private Clinics. MSc Virology Job Types Scientific Services Sales Associate, Assistant Professor, Virologist, Research Associate, Laboratory Assistant. After MSc candidates can do PhD. Eligibility for PhD program. 1. The candidate should have postgraduate degree in any branch of life sciences, biological sciences, biotechnology, microbiology, bioinformatics having at least 50% or equivalent grade point average GPA. 2. The candidate should hold a valid junior research fellowship from CSIR, UGC, ICMR, DBT Inspire, BINC etc. on the date of joining. Candidates who have qualified GATE, or only lectureship in CSIR UGC, NET, are not eligible to apply. Complete doctoral or medical training. In general, PhD programs in virology, immunology, or a relevant field take 4-6 years to complete and are very research-oriented. During the first year, students usually take science courses such as cell biology, virology, bacteria structure, prokaryotic and eukaryotic genetics, immunology and cancer biology, as well as complete lab rotations. Laboratory work and research for the dissertation become intensive in the second year. Qualifying exams and teaching experience are typically required in the second or third year, and the rest of the time is devoted to researching and writing the dissertation. Possible research areas include environmental virology, parasitology, pediatric viral infections, HIV vaccination development, and cancer suppression techniques. For those taking the medical school route, their first two years are focused on coursework and lab work covering topics like anatomy, pharmacology, and biochemistry. The last two years are characterized by clinical rotations throughout major medical departments including pediatrics, surgery, and family medicine. Complete postdoctoral research training. Graduates from medical school must complete additional residency requirements that usually last three years. Aspiring virologists often complete their residencies in pediatrics or internal medicine. Individuals who want to work in virology research are typically required to complete an additional 3-5 years of postdoctoral research training, often called a fellowship, after graduating from PhD programs or completing their medical residencies. In addition to carrying out research in their area of interest, postdoctoral students attend research retreats, seminars, and symposiums to learn additional skills to succeed as researchers, such as teaching and presentation skills. Fellows are typically required to participate in a journal club to share research findings. They may also elect additional graduate courses in virology topics or take a grant writing course. Thanks for watching EV Learning Tools. Keep watching and subscribe our channel. Click on bell button to get automatic notification.